Hi, you four players. My name is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. Previously, I posted a video for my EU4 speedrun where I conquered the world in 50 years, which I believe is the world record in in-game time. If you don't see that yet, you can check the link in my description. After I posted that video in YouTube and Reddit, I got so many, so many comments and congrats. So thank you all for those comments and congrats that encourage me a lot and I'm going to share more videos to talk about more details in that campaign. Today, I'm going to talk about how I get the revoke privilege in 1470. I think that's also the earliest record and obviously such an early revoke is a key enabler for the 50 years world conquer. Basically, I spent the first 25 years to pass the privilege revoke and the next 25 years to conquer the rest of the world. So, three comments before I start the content. First, again, if you don't see my 50 years world conquer video yet, please check that first through my description because that's an overview for the whole campaign. And this video, we are, go, we are go only talk about one part of that. Second, I try to uninstall my Chinese language mode, but after that, I cannot load these save files. So I have to keep that, bear with me with this foreign text. I'll talk more in this video. Third, my plan is for every video, I'll talk one big topic, like the fast revoke for this video. And at every end of the, uh, at the end of every video, I'll also answer one or two questions you guys ask for some small topics. Like today, I'll answer how many times in real life time I spend for this word conquer, because I so many people ask that. And so feel free to ask and in the comment area, and I'll answer those at the end of every video. And please also subscribe my channel so you will get notice for future update. Then let's get start. So how to get the privilege revoke in 1470? It basically includes two areas of effort. The first area is how to get, become HIE so early. That's including how to conquer it fast and many small tips in early game like how to attack my vassal Mongolia to complete my mission tree without stability penalty, how to get a Timur dynasty ruler, etc. But that's not the topic of today. Today, we'll mainly focus on the second part. After being an HIE emperor, how can we gain the imperial authority, the IA, as fast as possible and pass the HIE reform? Here, I used a method I called Lambda Plus Revoke since some of you already know the Lambda Revoke, if you don't know yet, you are welcome to check the YouTuber called Lambda XX. I explain that in detail. So I going to skip these theoretical explanations for Lambda Revoke. I'll just talk how I did it in my run and emphasize what's the Lambda Plus, the plus part, which I developed based on that. In short, there are three steps for Lambda Revoke and one more step for Lambda Plus Revoke. Step one, be an HIE emperor as a non-HIE country, which means your capital is not in the HIE territory. So in 1462, I conquered this province, Kola, and moved my capital here after I called it. Why here? Because this province belonged to the Western Europe subcontinental, so all my province in Eastern Europe subcontinental is okay to join trade company later. For that purpose, I can also move my capital here. But if I move here, all these Muslim countries will see my capital, like Mamluk, Timur, then they will join the coalition to me. So that's an advantage to choose Kola as the capital because my original capital and Kola all those Muslim countries, they cannot see both of them. So no matter how much AE they have, no matter it's 150 or 110, they won't join the coalition to me. After moving my capital, I convert my religion to Catholic, secure the elector's ticket, attack Habsburg, 
make it as my tributary and become HRE. So that's the step one, being an HRE emperor as a long HRE member. Then as a, the HRE emperor, when your capital is not in the HRE yet, you can click the join HRE button here and you will get five IA. At the same time, all the countries which have a land collection to HRE province will be added into HRE, including your capital. After that, you cannot join the join HRE uh, button anymore. You can only add your province instead of your country into HRE, which will not give you any IA. So we need step two. As step two, now we use the vessel. We use this vessel called Politic. We give him these provinces to isolate our capital. Now our capital is isolated or separated from the other land which connect to an HIE province. Now we are still eligible to click this button, get 5 IA from 32 to 37, and you will see all these provinces are added into HIE but not our capital because it stopped here. That's the step two. Use a vessel to isolate your capital, then click join HRE. After that, if I conquered any new province later, I can add them in the HRE and get another 5 IA. But conquer new land is not fast enough for speedrun. In speedrun, we're going to use our existing province make them quit the HRE and rejoin to gain that 5IA repeatedly. How to do that? That's uh, the step 3, which is the key for Lambda Revoke. And it's also much more complex than step 1 and 2. So how to make a province leave HRE? Basically, if you make it join the trade company, it will leave HRE at the same time. As a HRE province, you cannot make them join companies. You cannot make every province join the single company, uh, the trade company separately like this, because the button is already replaced as the HRE button. But you can still join trade companies through the trade node interaction. So from this button, you'll see this province joined the trade company and left HRE. As a trade company province, you cannot join it now, but after you remove this province from the trade company, then you are eligible to click this button to get 5 IA. So for trade node, where we have multi-state here we take the past trade node as example we have multi-state in this trade node one two three four five five state some state will only have one province some state will have four province if we simply click join trade company all this province in the same trade node will be added into trade company and leave the hre and then they cannot be the you can only use that once to get 5 IA. That's a waste. To maximize that, we should get every state join trade company leave HRE in a se in sequence. That will use the uh, state territory difference. So we'll add this as a state and only leave one territory here because only the territory can be joined in the trade company. So as you can see, after this button, only this one join trade company and leave the HRE. So you just make it left the trade company, get five there, and then we can make this state, change it to territory, which is eligible to join trade company, join, left then get another 5ia from this state 
So that's the key part for the lambda revoke. In short, for every eligible state, they can contribute 5IA to help you to pass HRE reform every five years. Why five years? Because after you, after you leave, uh, join and leave the trade company, this province will have a province modifier left trade company, which have a five years quarter. Once this quarter ends, you can play that trick again to repeat that. This is already quite insane because you might have dozens of states now in Europe and every state will get give you a 5IA by Lambda Revoke. And here I'm going to talk what does Lambda Plus mean. If we follow the previous step, we make this state as a territory, make it join the trade company. We should have all these four provinces join the HR, uh, join the trade company and leave HRE according to Lambda Revoke. But by Lambda Plus, you see we only have one province join the trade company and left HRE. The reason is because this province have the province modifier left trade company, which will end next month, 1470 October. And this province have the same modifier will end two months later in November. And this month, this province ends in three months later in December 1470. That, that, what does that mean? That means this month for the same state, I can get just use one province for the uh, join left trade company trick to get five IA and next month. I can use this province and the month later I use this one and in December I use this one. So that's the key for Lambda Plus. I add another step, not step four, but actually step zero. I plan something five years ahead. In, 15, in 1465 September, I add the first province of every state and make them joined and left the trade company. Then pass one month, wait till 1465 uh, October to make the second province of every state join and left trade company. Then the next month make, make the third one if that state hive and the next month make the fourth one. In that way, I put a province modifier to every province in a monthly sequence, in a monthly uh, sequence, yes. So after five years till now, I can also join this province, make them join trade company and left HRE in a monthly sequence. So I'll do another one for this state as well. I make it as territory first and then make it join the trade company, you will see only this one, only this one joined trade company and left HRE. The other three are still within there because they, ha they still have the left trade company uh, modifier. Then we, le we let the time go to the next month, go to the October. Okay, in October, you'll see the left trade company modifier already ends here. We are eligible to put this province into the trade company. Let me first make this as a state to protect it. And then for this state, join trade company. You see only this one left. Let's pass this reform. Make this left trade company get five and do the same for this one, just as an example. Make as territory join left and get another five. And as a opposite example for, exa for this 
province a uh, state we have two provinces i should add this province in trade company last week last month and add this one this month if i forgot to do that or i don't use the lambda plus approach and now i just add them at the same time to the trade company you'll see they join trade company at the same time and left um, HRE at the same time. In that way, when I join to HRE, all those two provinces join that together. And then I cannot play the, that join left trade company anymore. So that means I waste one opportunity here. So that's the uh, uh, key for Lambda plus revoke. I hope you figure it out. I hope I make, I make it clear. So in short, with Lambda Revoke, every eligible state can contribute 5 IA every 5 years. Eligible means the state is in Europe and within the same religion group as the Emperor. So for this case, it should be the uh, Christian religion. And with Lambda Plus, Every province instead of the state, every province is okay to contribute 5 IA to help you to pass the HRE reform as quickly as possible. Of course, if you are not doing a speed run, you can actually wait to conquer new land to add them to HRE or wait every five years and play the trick again. That also will help reform quicker but in speed run actually i don't have enough time to conquer too much land i only have this snake uh, territory that's why i have to make the fully use of every province i have to get the the privilege revoke i counted i have 62 provinces in europe within the uh, christian religion group that I can that means I can repeat that 62 times but even after that actually I still have a little shortage to pass the privilege revoke and then I use another one it's already that's not something that's already mentioned in the lambda revoke so I get the land from my vassal and join that to uh, treat company leave that to get the uh, IA and return that land to Vassal through Rebels and then get that again to repeat that. So for that reason you can find for my Vassal Politic, I paid his loan to get minus 100% uh, independence trend and many other modifiers to decrease its independence trend because every 15 point of independent trade, an uh, independent trend means a uh, 1119 means 5 IA. It's 5 IA at the, at the beginning. After you pass several reforms, you'll get 25% modifier here and 25% modifier here. So you'll get actually over 6 points and later 7.5 points for every time you do this trick and I complete the privilege revoke in 1470 I think in uh, maybe in 1471 probably because this year uh, this month I, uh, no no in October in September is the first province October 2nd November 3rd uh, December the 4th yeah I think it, by end of 1470 I pass the Privilege revoke. Okay, that's the introduction for the Lambda Plus revoke. It's a little complex, I, I have to admit. I hope you uh, get clear from my explanation. And we come to the Q&A session now. Uh, I saw many people ask how many real lifetime hours I spend for this campaign, for this 50 years World Conquer. To be honest, I didn't uh, count that. Uh, I spent, I think I started the campaign three months ago, but I don't have too much time. Uh, I don't, 
not every day, not every other day. I just play that occasionally,、uh, maybe two hours, some evening or three hours at some evening. So I guess, just rough estimation, I guess it's like maybe eighty hours or ninety hours, or I think should be within hundred hours.、Uh, but yeah, that's still a lot of time there, and I really enjoy it too. Uh, think, plan the strategy, and achieve the speed run. And now I also quite enjoy to share this experience to you, and hope you're gonna to like it. So if you are interested in my video, please subscribe, like, and share. That's all for today's content. Thank you very much. Bye.